Welcome back to my channel for a short Leica episode and it will be short, I promise. This is about my Leica Q2 again and uh, on many cameras you have a dedicated back button focus. So here for instance this is the Sony Alpha 1 which is the flagship camera from Sony full frame cameras at this point in time and you see here is a dedicated button which says autofocus on. That you don't have on the Leica Q2 but you have a button which sits in about the same position namely here. And in this video I want to show how you can customize this button in a way that you get back button focus and I will also show you how you can separate the metering process from the focusing process by using this button here and some customization in the menu. Let's kick off the video. When you take the Leica Q2 fresh out of the box, this button here is occupied by a digital zoom. So currently I'm shooting here with the full frame and that means about 47 megapixel and a 28 millimeter focal length coming from that lens here which is fixed mounted on the camera body. If I now push that back button here once, we see frame lines indicated here and that means that the JPEG will be cropped in to a corresponding 35 millimeter focal length equivalent and uh, the JPEG image then also has only 30 megapixels and I can continue in this way here. This would correspond the frame here to a 50 millimeter focal length has only 15 megapixels on the JPEG then and this here would correspond to 75 millimeter focal length with a resolution of only 7 megapixels. So this is a digital zoom. It crops into the image but it only affects the JPEG and not the raw image and that's the way you get this camera set up if you take it out of the box after you purchased it. Now this button here can now be configured as a back button focus button, a back button metering button or a button which combines focusing and metering in one push. And uh, in order to illustrate this I went here on metering to spot because then you see the effect if I change the direction where the camera is pointing to in terms of light metering. The standard setup when it comes to the shutter release button here of the Leica Q2 and basically every other camera which has autofocus is that if you half press the shutter button, light metering and focusing kicks in in parallel and at the same time. So let's try this out here. I focus with spot metering and uh, field autofocus to Jennifer here and I half press the shutter button. You see the frame in the middle of the scene gets green. That means light has been metered focus has been found, I can take the shot. Simple like that. Now there is a menu entry under customization here which I can use to reconfigure that button here. As I said at the beginning we have here digital zoom now. So we have the simulation of different focal lengths which affect the JPEG, not the raw image. But in the menu here if I go into page number four we have customized control. If I go into that I have here a dedicated menu entry for that button. So this is the zoom lock button and so far we have seen it as digital zoom but there is a lock functionality and that's what I'm going to show now. So let's go into that menu and the first basic function we have here which many people including myself use very often is auto exposure lock and the best way again to demonstrate this is when you are in spot metering. So let's choose this and uh, if I now press this button here you see here a little symbol AE which stands for auto exposure lock. And if I push the button again, that symbol disappears. Here you see that symbol. If I push it again, it's gone. I will not demonstrate quickly live here, of course, how you can use that auto exposure lock function assigned to the back button to separate the light metering process from the focusing process. And the normal way, as I said, we point here with the autofocus field at Jennifer. Light metering and focusing happens at the same time. It turns to green color here in the middle of the frame and I can take the shot. Now let's do this in a different way using the back button. Let's go to a more bright area of the scene with our spot metering. And let's go here to the lights and let's now lock exposure by pressing that back button here. So I pressed it. You see now here the symbol and now no matter where I point the camera, metering is locked. So metering is done, but what we have not done yet is focusing. And uh, with that setting here, I can now point anywhere and half press the shutter button and focus. And then you see the green color on the focus field, which means focus has been found. So let's do this again on Jennifer. And now I have, taking the shot, a totally different image where the light metering in step one 
was separated from the focusing process in step two. And in this way, I can separate the metering and focusing process. By the way, that symbol stays on and the metering here is locked as long as I do not push that back button again. If I now push it, metering is reset to what it was before. All right, so far this is a standard procedure, auto exposure lock. Many pro photographers use this all the time on their cameras. What I will do now, I will exchange the functions. I will focus with the back button and meter light by half pressing the shutter button, which can also be done by the menu. Let's go into customize control and let's go to the zoom lock button menu. And let's now here go to autofocus lock. And that is an interesting option, of course. And uh, how it works is the following. Now I can still with my shutter release button, meter light and focus on Jennifer's body, but I can now also focus by pressing the back button here. Have a look how that rectangle in the middle of the frame turns into green when I do that. Now focus is locked. And by the way, focus is locked in the meaning of the word locked. No matter where I point, this is what it is. And even if I half press the shutter button, it will not change the focus. You see that? It's still on Jennifer's body and the background remains blurry even if I focus at the background. And what I can nevertheless do now is meet a light with the shutter release button by half pressing it. Let's go to the light here again. Let's now half press the shutter button. And now my metering is locked. My focus remains locked because I pushed the back button before and I can take the shot. That's the way it works. And in the same way as on auto exposure lock, that focus is locked as long as I do not push that back button again. So if I push it, then the rectangle in the middle of the frame you see is gray again. And now I can focus somewhere else by half pressing the shutter button. If I lock it in via Yennefer's body here, even if I half press the shutter button, the background remains blurry, Yennefer remains sharp. Let's now turn this into action and let's try this out. And I will do the following. I will separate the light metering from the focusing. Focusing happens via back button focus here. Light metering, we are half pressing the shutter button. And I will also focus first on Yennefer and then recompose to get a different image composition. So let's back button focus on Yennefer. Here we go, this is sharp. Let's light meter via half press the shutter button and uh, now let's recompose and let's take the shot. And in order to see the difference, let's just back button focus on Yennefer. Here we go. Let's half press the shutter button, light meter. Let's take the shot. And now we have two images. And the first image is this one here where we just focused on Yennefer. Yennefer is sharp. Let's go in here and zoom in. You see, Yennefer is just a beautiful model. And uh, if I recompose, I have this image here. And you see this is darker if you compare the two frames. And it is darker because I spot metered at a brighter part of the scene in front of the camera. And it's also recomposed because Jennifer is no longer in the center, but is on the left hand side of the frame. And we also have this nice background blurriness on the other The Witcher figure here. So let's check Jennifer from uh, the back button focus is sharp and nice. A little bit underexposed now based on the spot metering I did. And here is the background figure, which is nice and blurry based on a widest open f1.7 aperture on this beautiful Leica lens, which is fixed mounted on the Leica Q2. So this is a technique you can use to experiment. You can get familiar with it and is something we do very often in photography. We focus somewhere, we light meter somewhere else, we recompose the scene and then we take the shot. And then of course you can also still combine light metering and focusing on the back button only and then you don't need the shutter button any longer. And the way to achieve this is going back into the menu to customize control. And then in customize control, we go back to our zoom lock button, which is this one. I choose that and then we have here the combination of autofocus lock and auto exposure lock. So let's do this, let's choose it. Let's go back into live view. And now I push the back button once and light metering and focusing happens here at the center of the frame at Jennifer's body and I can take the shot and I only need the shutter release button for really taking the shot. No longer for metering, no longer for focusing. Although I could still do this all, let me release the focus here could still do this all with the shutter button, of course, half pressing and uh, then light gets metered and focus is also sitting where it's supposed to sit. So that is the last setting on uh, this particular menu entry here on customize controls and then the zoom lock button. And if this is all mumbo jumbo for you and you don't think this is what you want, then safely go back to the digital zoom. And when we are back in live view, you get here the frames again for these four different focal length simulations, which will affect your JPEG image. 
All right, that's it. That's the complete mini tutorial on the back button and how to customize it and use it. I hope this was a useful exercise for you and you can use it in your daily shooting. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel, there's always more to come. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy and of course, peace out.